All right, what's going on my friends? In this video, I'm gonna be removing the entire bed of my truck. And I plan on doing a series of probably three different videos. I'm gonna remove the bed of my truck. And then in the second video, I'm gonna be taking all the rust off of my frame and painting this chassis saver paint on my frame. But this is some of the tools I'm gonna to end up using. Probably a few other tools, but I got some paint brushes that I'm going to probably throw away at the end because pretty much when you open this, you got to use it because you can't open it and then close it back up. It gets really hard. Uh, I'm going to probably use some eye protection, um, some PV blaster for some of my rusted bolts and some of this deep cream lubricant. I'm going to use it, that my, my come along to get the bed of my truck off. If you have a chain fall, I think that would be a lot easier, but I did not feel like spending a couple hundred dollars on a chain fall. Um, then I got some a wire wheel from my grinder. I got some other wire wheels for on my drill. And I got, I got this from Harbor Freight. It's called a needle scaler, or what I would call from when I was in my old Navy days back in the day, a needle gun. Yeah, I was in the Navy and I was in the Army. And then I got a drill and a light, and I'm gonna put some new straps on my gas tank because one of my straps decided to just rust off and was hanging underneath there. But, well, enjoy the video. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button to help support it. I really appreciate all my new subscribers. I've went over 15,000. Thank you very much. Here we go. First thing I'm gonna do is remove this plastic cover around my gas cap. And I just got like a bucket or something to put all my little parts in as I go so I don't lose them all. Anybody knows an easy way to get that out there. There we go. See that piece there's in behind there. So I'm gonna take a screwdriver here. You want to unhook the gas cap off of here. So we can put that back on so nothing falls in there. Look at that. I think now I'm going to take off my spare tire. I've had this done a couple times. Now I'm gonna go under my truck, right down below where my headlights are, and I'm going to unplug them on both sides. It's just a little piece right here you gotta push down. If you can see that, it holds in there. And going across, this is where you plug your trailers in at, if you have a trailer. I I'm pretty sure I gotta unplug these two things right here. So let's unplug them. Alright, there's that. Oh god. I think I need to unhook this off of the, my bed. that pop straight out of that hole oh there's that one and then over here to this one these are just the two little lights Oh. 
Now I wanna, I'm gonna take all six of these bolts out in the bed of my truck. There's four right here in the back and there's two up front. But first I gotta clean some of my bed liner stuff out of them so I can get this a T55 in there. This one, I already got that one loosened. All right, I got them all cleaned out. Now I'm just gonna take this cheater bar and I want to loosen these up hopefully without breaking them <clears throat> maybe <clears throat> holy mother <sighs> hope this sucker don't break it's gonna be bad if it breaks This one won't come out. I might have to get under there and spray. Let's try to work on these back too. All right, I got three out and three will not come out. So I'm gonna go back down under there and spray some PB blaster on them, let them sit overnight. Hopefully I can get them out tomorrow without breaking something. All right, not good. I broke one bolt, so I'm gonna, well, I got out five of them and one, I broke one, so. Maybe that's not too bad. I'm gonna have to try to find another bolt. Plus, some of these don't look too good. This one looks pretty rough shape. Maybe I can clean the rest of these up. But I think spraying them and letting them soak up underneath overnight might have helped a little. So, maybe if I, if you learn anything from this, maybe spray these bolts maybe a couple days before every night, let them soak before you try to take your bed off. If you live somewhere like I do where it is really, really bad in the winter time. Now on to taking this entire bed off by myself. All right, here we go. All my helpers are being homeschooled right now, so nobody can help me. So I'm gonna try to do this all by myself. I kind of have it set up to do by myself other than it'd be nice to have one person at least to be looking under my truck to make sure I had definitely have everything unhooked. Um, I got a ratchet strap. Let me show you real quick before we start getting, let me show you. I'll show you real quick how I have this all set up. I have a ratchet strap on each tie down inside my box. And then I just have my come along up here. Like I said, it'd be a little easier if you had a chain fall. It'll be a little slower when I put it back on. But here we go. I might have to jump up and down a couple times just to make sure, but let's see what happens. I have to be this high because I got to pick my box up. So. Here we go. I think it looks good so far. Let me go a little bit further. Thank you. 
looks like my light wires are all still hooked under there just with the little snap. Let me show you what I missed. These, some of these little wires here are connected to my frame. There's one there. And this one here, and there's one over here that I gotta unhook. So let me do that real quick. That way you guys will not forget those ones. A couple more clicks and I think we can pull ahead. That's about as high as I can go. I hope it works. Well, so far this looks pretty good. All right, for got a second there to turn my camera on, you didn't really miss much. I just pulled ahead a little bit. Um, like I said, this would be easier if you had at least two or three people. And maybe even if you took your bumper off, but I'm going to do that when I get inside, I think. All right, looks like if you were not going to take your bumper off, but I think most people are gonna take their bumper off. I unplugged a couple of wires I didn't have to, like these couple of lights that are around your uh, license plate. I wouldn't have had to unplug them. Uh, I unplugged these wires and they wouldn't have had to get unplugged. I just would have had to take them off the, they're stuck on the bottom of my bed but and same thing over there, but I plan on taking this bumper off anyway. All right, well, this is the end of video one. I hope this helps some of you guys out taking the bed of your Toyota Tundra off. Please leave me a comment down below. Give me this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to help support my channel. God bless and watch the other two videos I have. I'm gonna to try to clean up this frame a little bit and I'm gonna put the bed back on. That'll be two more videos. God bless and have a great day.